Hello, everyone. Good day for you. Uh, depending on uh, where is you, you are in the globe. Good morning or good afternoon. Uh, we will talk today about uh, our digital solution WAG Emotion Fleet Management. So I'd like first to present myself. I'm Mateus Nicoladelli de Oliveira. I'm working in WAG uh, since 2010 and uh, I'm an electrical engineer and also I got my master's, deg master's degree from the Universidade de Santa Catarina State. And uh, today I'd like to, to have this conversation with you about our digital solution. Uh, talking about the, 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 the questions, if you have any questions, just place it in the, in the chat in the end of uh, this webinar. We will have some uh, questions here in the live session to, to talk more about this uh, product, okay? So let's go in uh, our agenda for today. First, we will have uh, a review about the solution concept. Uh, we will see the benefits and advantages, the past roadmap. We also will present you the self-training track, which is a document uh, to help the, the user and how to get the first steps in the MFM. After that, we will see the new features available in the software and also the next features to be available. So we presented this concept in the launch webinar that we did in the last year, but I would like to remember to remind what is the concept of this solution. So we designed it in layers. So the first layer are the products, which a uh, bag WAG have been producing these products for the 60 days, uh, 60 years, uh, over more than 60 years, which are motors, gear motors, variable fixed drivers, soft starter, medium voltage drivers and motors. The second layer are the sensors and the gateways. So here is the, the, the layer which we get the data from the assets to the cloud. The third layer, we get the management uh, layer, which is where we are storing the data, we get the dashboards, we get the reports, the notification, and during this webinar, we will see in detail how is this inside the software. The advanced layer, we get the specialist module and the exchange module. So here we have the advanced analysis to get diagnosis and also consumption analysis. And if you need to integrate the data inside the MFM to the third part system, we can use the exchange module. So we will see in the end of this webinar some options uh, using this module, okay? So another important remark here, this solution is under continuous development. We are improving the sensors, we are improving the gateway, we are improving the software, and this webinar will show you part of those improvements. So this is what we are talking here, more connectivity, more digitalization to improve your industrial fleet performance. And if you'd like to see this software, you can use this QR code or this link. Here is where we are placing our uh, digital solution in the internet. So doing this access here, you are in the software MFM. And if you would like to see the webinar about the launch we did the last year, we also place here the QR code to give you the access to the YouTube link of this webinar. So, okay, we know part of the solution, but how is the, what is the benefits? What is the advantage of the solution? I'd like to, to remember again. So doing the, the usage of the MFM, we are leveraging the condition-based maintenance. So we are changing the reality of the maintenance team. We are supporting the operational decision-making. As we know the condition of our assets, we are making better decisions. And of course, reduction of the TCO. Knowing the situation of our fleet, the total cost of ownership is automatically reduced because we know where where to act to keep our fleet operational and with high level of efficiency. So 
TMFM is designed to perform the online monitoring for the entire fleet with just one solution. It, get, it get, give you effective communication for notification and also using the fleet reports. So we reduce the unexpected failures, we reduce the shutdowns, and finally, as we are getting the monitoring of the fleet, we are, we are also reducing the necessity to send our personnel of maintenance in the field to make verification. They need to go there, but not for the entire fleet all the time, because the online monitoring is give you the exactly point that must be taken care of in the exact moment. So it saves time uh, and it gives the workforce safety in uh, this kind of aspect of be in the moment that the equipment is required and not all the, all the time. So this is uh, something that is very important to understand how we created the solution, where was the beginning of this digital solution creation. So we presented this in the launching webinar. I will just pass here very quickly to, to remind, okay? So we started uh, in 2018, creating the motor scan and the IoT platform. In 2019, WAG uh, understands this, uh, this direction of digitalization of Industry 4.0 and starts WAG Digital Solutions. This movement starts to create a new engineering team, a new perspective. So WAG starts to create the motor fleet management solution, starts to connect other assets uh, in the software, motor, variable fixed drivers, and uh, other assets, improve the certification of the motor scan to get hazardous area uh, certification, improve the certification of drive scan and other monitoring devices, and in the end of the first quarter of last year, get the first in, uh, artificial intelligence product, which is the motor specialist. It's an algorithm uh, designed to perform advanced analysis Second quarter, we get uh, another important step, starting with the, the subscription management tool in the software, the exchange module. We adjusted the name from motor to motion fleet management and performs the overseas launch. We also increase the uh, functionality with asset prioritization tool and include the monitoring of smart release and uh, soft starters. So what is new? What we created uh, from that point to now, I would like to show you in this slide. So in the quarter T, in the quarter three, we launched the drive specialist and we improved the fleet reports. We get the uh, Spanish language in the software. We also get the QR code for quick visualization of the dashboard. We also present this feature in the launch webinar. We get the self-training track uh, which is a document uh, to help with the beginners and multiple spectrum visualization. So here the uh, experts in vibration get inside the software an environment to see the spectrum and perform their analysis. We will see these features and others during this webinar. We got some improvements in the dashboards. We get more drives able to connect in the cloud and also getting an important feature, which is the parameters backups. So getting this feature, we can have in the cloud the parameters of each asset in our fleet. We also improve the monitoring of medium voltage drives, the plant data export, the estimation of winding temperature for low voltage motors, we get the battery status of each sensor in the dashboard or in the report. We improve the capability to see where the trigger of the, the event creation is performed in the time series. We will see this today. We also can see the, soft, uh, the sensor and communication overview. We get the second version of motor specialist and we get an app the app Digital Notify. 
Using this app, you can see the notification in your hands with your smartphone. So this is uh, the, the picture of the recent features and we will show you inside the software today. So if you are new, if, if you are a beginner, you'd like to understand how it works and what documents and material you must see first, I recommend you to access our self-training track. This document is available inside the software. You just make the login, go to the left menu, support and contacts, and access self-training track. This document have only four pages. So in the first page, we have an introduction. We explain what is the level of knowledge and how we perform the technical support of the solution. The second page is very important. Here we have a kickstart. So you see step by step what you need to do and how long it takes to get the usage of this solution. So you start with the registration in the MFM. After that, you need to uh, create an asset. You need to enable the sensor. And so if you just follow the steps, you get the solution working. Moreover, we are also presenting the steps to make the configuration in the gateway and in the drive scan. The third and the fourth page, we have the contents to construct the knowledge. If you access each link and uh, you invest uh, your time in each material, you will construct step by step the understanding behind our solution. Okay. So let's take a look in some new features available in the MFM. And the first is the dashboard improvements. Here we are in the home page. In the, in the right side, we have the overview, the quantity of health uh, assets, alerts, and critical. And we have the map. Pay attention here, uh, due to the governance, I have access only to these plans here in the left side. So this is very important to see. Another improvement is the cards. So these cards are the assets monitored by the, my, my fleet. I can see the battery status, the connection status. And in the left side of each card, we have a color. It is representing what is the health status of this asset. So this is a first improvement that we did in the home page. And we also did an improvement in the plant view. So here I, I'm accessing this plant, the support digital. We get a picture and each, uh, each circle of this is one sensor placed in the factory. And here using the filter, I'm selecting only motor scan. So this is the table and I can select which content I would like to see in the columns. So I can make the custom which is designed, uh, which is preferred by uh, the user. And we also can order in the vibration level here to get the high levels in the top, for example. We get the mode connection and we can export this data for different types of format. So here I did a download. It is now in my computer and I can share with my colleagues or I can also store this data in my uh, computer. And here we have some uh, topics that I can access for this fleet. For example, events, KPIs, and also the legend showing what is every information presented in the software. Talking about the, the, the dashboard and the uh, are now the report, here we have the indication of the sensor battery status. So inside the report, I can see how many sensors have critical level of battery. So it is indicating that we needed to perform the replacement of the sensor. We also have here the event in this motor, for example, and the specialist is indicating what activity must be performed to solve this problem. In this case is a misalignment and the report is presenting and showing to the user what activity must be performed. So now I'd like to show the same uh, information regarding the battery status, but now in the dashboard. So we are making the access in the plant. 
here we can see a picture of the plant and how many sensors in this factory here in WAG. We have more than 420 sensors uh, and this is something very impressive because we are doing the usage of the software inside WAG. It's not only a product available to the market, but it's also a product be in use inside WAG. So here we are in the dashboard asset KPI. Here we see the assets and the status of each uh, asset and here the status of the batteries. So here we can see that information that I show you in the report. Here we have the list of, uh, of assets with uh, a big number of events. So the maintenance team must focus in those assets to reduce the quantity of events. Here we have the quantity of uh, motors with variable fixed drivers or directed to, to grid. And important information here. So we have 350 assets, but in sensors we have more because each asset can receive data from more than one sensor. So we have 431 sensors and 10 gateways. So it's just to have an idea, okay, how many gateways we have here in this factory to perform this monitoring. Another feature is the plant data export. So now here we are in the, the overview of the software and doing the access in this link, I can select all plants that my login have access and generate this table in the right side. So here I have the status of healthy, alert and critical of each plant. And I can perform the export using uh, my desired uh, format of file. So here I did the download and now it's in my computer. Uh, as before, I can share or I can storage in my, uh, in my computer, okay? Now looking about this new feature, so here I'm accessing the, the testing, the, the sensor that I, we have here for test. So it's the multiple spectrum visualization. We access here in this tab asset FFT, which means fast full here transformer, selecting the, the spectrums available in this sensor. So we have around 188 spectrums in this sensor, as we can see here but I will select only 50 to this demonstration. So generate chart. And here we have three parts. So in the left side, we have the 3D chart. Uh, in the right side, in the bottom, we have the 2D and in the upper, we have the color map. We also get the graphic settings. We can adjust the axis, the direction of the measurement. And this solution, is designed for the uh, personnel responsible to check the vibration, to perform the analysis of vibration. In general, this personnel are uh, related for mechanical technic technician or uh, mechanical engineers. So as far as you are understanding vibration and you'd like to do your own analysis, you can use this feature and you make the zooming here. The zooming will be uh, performed in the other graphics uh, respectively. You can also place a note. So in this analysis, you check this vibration and you'd like to put a note here. You put this and in the next week or next month, when you do another analysis, this note here to remind you something important in this process of troubleshooting. So this feature is something very important and give you the, the condition to the analyst, to the mechanical, to do their own analysis. Okay, so shifting now from the motor now to variable frequency driver, just to have an idea uh, about the drive scan. So the drive scan is our uh, device designed to connect variable frequency driver to the cloud. So using one drive scan, we can have up to uh, 12 sensors, 20 sensors, 10 in each port. So using internet, uh, TCP, Modbus TCP or Modbus RTU, uh, you can connect in the drive scan up to 
12 sensors, ok? 20 sensors, sorry. <laughs> Uh, talking about the medium voltage uh, monitoring, we can have all, uh, up to five devices. So here we are making the same connection in the port, and we get the possibility to have the connection using Wi-Fi, Modbus, or internet using cable. And this is important. This feature uh, is the capability of the drive scan to connect all of those types of drives in the cloud. We can get the CFW 100, 300, 500, 700, 11, 900, the soft, star, the soft starter 900, the smart relay and the AFW 11. We also can connect these three uh, drives from medium voltage. And an important feature for maintenance team all of those assets you can connect you can get the parameter backup so it's very important for maintenance team to have the storage of this important data in the cloud and it is available in all drives monitored by the drive scan and how we how we have the dashboard of the drive scan and how i can for example adjust the tolerance so making the access in the dashboard of this drive, we can get here in the tolerance and we can adjust the level of voltage, uh, the level of current, torque, uh, the DC link voltage, the EGBT temperature. So this is something that you can use to monitor if the, the drive is operating uh, out of the range expected to operate. So here we have this screen to help with this kind of setting. Another important feature that we improved is the specialist. So just to remind what is the specialist for motors, it is the uh, artificial intelligence algorithm that analyzes the pattern of the data in order to indicate what is the failure. So we did recently a, a webinar uh, presenting this function, this uh, solution, and it is available in this QR code. So in this case, it, which is a real case, the specialist indicated to us a bearing failure and after the maintenance performed by our, by our team here in WAG, they identified that the bearing really present a failure in the inner race. And what is the, what is the improvements in this module? So we are accessing here the specialist diagnosis. So we get a button to reset the learning process. So here is the button. It is important when you do a maintenance and the motor is uh, operating properly. Uh, again, you reset the algorithm. We get the, the winding temperature. So the uh, experts created a thermal model in order to get the surface temperature and also the other uh, information get from the sensor to estimate the winding temperature inside the motor. So this is very important to check the health of the motor during the life the lifetime. Here we also can see the measurement from the motor scan, which is the multiple frequencies of the spectrum and also the notable frequencies of a failure from the bearing. So here we have the time series. We can change the axis of vibration. Here we are seeing the temperature, the estimated temperature of the winding that I presented you before. And we also have here the possibility to make the correlation of parameters that is measured by the sensor. So we are creating here the chart speed per uh, vibration in radio. So here we have the two situations of vibration low and high for the same speed. So here it's very important you can use this feature to see if there is some resonance uh, regarding the speed uh, which is improving or getting the uh, vibration higher for a specific frequency uh, or speed okay and another important uh, advance in the specialist module is now the motor specialist is now available for VFD application, which means with speed vary. When we have before, the speed of the shaft must be 
fix it to work properly, the algorithm of diagnosis. And now, if the speed is varying, which is performed by the VFD, the algorithm is still uh, now it's able to see and perform the diagnosis, taking account this variation with speed because it changed the spectrum. So now this improvement helps with this process of diagnostic, even with speed vary. Now uh, looking again about the, the improvements in the management layer, so making an access in this motor, looking in the dashboard, I would like to show you the uh, improvement in the event list, but now uh, I'd like just to put data in this chart, checking now seven days. Okay, now we have the data for the this chart, but in this slide, I would like to show you the event list. So here we did a improvement here. So doing actions management. Open this. I I see exactly in the time series which happened to trigger this event. So how now I'm doing a zooming to analyze, and here we can see precisely which parameter and which level was sensed to create this event. And in the bottom of the this screen we can change the state for example for resolved if i did my maintenance and it is done i can change here for resolved to change the status of this event uh, now i would like to show you the sensor and communication overview so checking uh, changing the way of uh, presentation of the data from map to list so now we are in list we can adjust the filter here to select a uh, desired customer, desired plant. For this case, I'm selecting only motor scan that is available to my login. In the right side, in the right column here, we have actions and there's the button overview. So I do a click here. And now I see the sensor gateway and the asset. And in this analysis, I can understand that there is two gateways sending data from this sensor to the cloud so here i can under i can uh, check what's what is the gateway that is performing the sending of this data in the left side we have the sensor so we can see the method of connection which is gateway here the sensor is enabled the status of the battery and also the status of the subscription so in this screen, it's something very important to the user to see easily how is the connection, if it's an app or each gateway is performing the upload of the data and what is the basic information of the asset, which this sensor is related. And this feature is something very important as well, the app. We created uh, the app digital notify so here we have a bell which is the notifications active for my user and using the app i have the same information in my hand no matter where i am so this is very important to manage the activities to see what is the fleet situation so here we have some uh, demonstration of this app you have settings preference and here is the list of the notification that is available to me so accessing this data i also can change the status of the notification using the app so this is very important to the maintenance team in order to have uh, online information and also updating the, the the information without using a computer you have the fast action uh, happening in your factory so you need to put this information in the cloud fast too so that the app help you to have this uh, approach. OK, uh, the features that I would like to present you that is available now in the MFM is all of these uh, features that I present you. And now I would like to give you an idea what we are creating, what is uh, going in next. Uh, the CFW900, which is IoT ready, uh, there is an option to connect this device directly to cloud, which means device to cloud, uh, and it is very important to, to have this kind of feature. 
we are also getting in in a while we will get the CMMS, which means computerized maintenance management system. This module is designed to help the users to manage the notification, the events with the agenda, with the scheduling and with the personal. So in the proper moment, we will present you in detail the CMMS, which will be inside the MFM, which will be another module with no cost to the user. We also will have the, the new motor scan. I will present you details about this sensor uh, in the next slide. So this is an important improvement in the hardware level. The gateway, in order to get the, a better connectivity, bigger throughput of data, bigger range of connection between sensor and gateways, so we will have the Gateway X2000. The gear scan, which is a sensor uh, adjusted to see the gear uh, behavior and also indicating the healthy of the gearbox. So this is something that helps a lot the customer because when you see, take in account the application, you will see further, we will see better and each will help with maintenance. So this sensor will be designed, the, this, the collection of data of this sensor will is designed exactly for gear applications. Large machines, uh, we are working here to have very soon something to monitoring the large machines. Also, we are working to have new condition monitoring uh, scans. Of course, improving the software uh, continuously. And this is the message. This solution, the MFM, it is a, a system that is pushing software and hardware improvements. And what is new in, in motor scan? What we have in the version two? Uh, last week we gave you a briefing. I would like to, to remember here the motor scan version two have four guidelines, four drives of uh, development. First, it is energy. We have our option of battery and another option with a power cable. So here we can replace the battery and here we can have uh, power up the sensor continuously using a power supply. So this is one big improvement in the new sensor. The other one is the flexibility. The software and the firmware of the sensor is designed to allow monitoring of different kinds of facets. We can adjust the sensor to perform the monitoring of fans, compressors, pumps, gear motors, and of course, electric motors. The other drive is sensing, measurement. So we improved a lot the, monitor, uh, the, the sensors inside this motor scan in order to get uh, a better checking of the healthy of the assets. And what, why this is important? Doing this, we can see earlier when the failure starts. So in, in, the, in the perspective of a bearing, for example, doing this improvement, now we can see lubricating, lubricating problems and we can indicate earlier when the failure starts to, to behave. So this is very important to, to understand that this kind of monitoring depends directly of the sensing and you must see the application and we are doing here. We are looking to application and design the sensor to find the problems earlier. And finally, connectivity. We improved the connectivity. We did a, a, a special design of the communication. So we are getting more distance between sensor and gateway. We are getting the possibility to make the uh, firmware over their updates. And we get a bigger throughput of data. So it helps to get more data from the sensing layer. And uh, before finishing this webinar, I'd like to remember another important feature. It is it's not a new feature, but as we are talking with different customers uh, and they asked a lot about this feature, I'd like to present uh, a small uh, demonstration here 
how to use the exchange module. So the exchange module is uh, the module inside the MFM that allow the user to get data from the MFM. So here in WAG, we have the WAG shop floor management, which is a SCADA, which is the automation layer. And here we are getting data from the sensor inside the automation system. So here we can see the vibration and also the temperature of this motor. So this is something that it's important to keep in mind that you are you can use this module not only for SCADA. We can send data from the MFM, of course, to SCADA, but also to the ERP, to the customer CMMS, or to the MES, or no matter other proprietary software. So you can connect this data with other parts without problem. And the technology that we are using here is the REST API. If you need more information regarding the exchange module, you just go in the left menu of the software and click in exchange. Here we have these two buttons. So here we have the manual, which is a PDF. We have a lot of information here, which kind of data we are sending uh, in, in the calls, uh, what is the commands necessary to operate, how is the subscription details. And in the other button, we have an uh, example of the coding necessary to operate the exchange module. So the personnel that are accustomed of this kind of topic, look in this documentation, they will really understand quickly how to do this, how to get the data, how to get the details from the site, from the plant, how to perform the auth authentication. Uh, and this is something that is done. It's operational. Just need to, to perform the integration in the other side because in the MFM it is done and uh, operational. So finally, here we have the last slide. Uh, and what is the final notes? What is the topics that we would like to to remark? The MFM is a robust and mature system, which is under continue continuous evolution. Uh, VAG is committed to offer the best of the both worlds in hardware and software. We are pushing uh, to improve hardware, sensors, gateway, and also software. The visualization of the data, the advanced algorithms, integration, all of uh, the aspects uh, regarding a good monitoring with digital solution with Industry 4.0. Third, the MFM is a worldwide solution. So if you would like to see some uh, details or you'd like to perform a quotation or a demo, just contact WAG offices. Uh, it will be a pleasure to us to attend your needs. And finally, thank you for your attention. Uh, I would like to open for questions right now. I will check here in the, in the chat if we have some questions. Um, there is a question here for drive scan. Does it monitor the drive healthy only, or it is possible to read access the drive parameters as well? Good question. Uh, we monitor the, the, the drive healthy and also the parameters. So you can see in the in the launching webinar we show this this feature. Uh, you can see in the YouTube it's available. Uh, you can see the the parameters in the drive. If you need, you can request uh, the reading of parameters in the exact moment you are connected, uh, and you can compare because the system automatically gets the parameter once by by day. So you can compare, for example, from last week for today. It is if there is difference in the parameter of those drives. Okay, so answer is not only to 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 monitor the health, you can also monitor the parameters, OK? Uh, 
uh, there is another question here. Uh, how I can how we can connect to get quotation of this product? Uh, here I have I put my my contact in the last uh, slide. You can send me an email. OK, uh, I will help you with any kind of quotation. When the new features will be available in the MFM? Uh, good question. Uh, we have a roadmap uh, here. We are working with the engineering from the software, from the sensors. Uh, for the moment, I'm not authorized to 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 to, to say the date exactly, but we are all future features that we presented to you is uh, working. We are working very hard to have it available very soon. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think this is uh, for today. I'd like again to to say thank you for your attention. If you need further information, feel free to contact us in, in my email uh, and have a good day. See you.